Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a book written by Robert Kiyosaki, which was first published in 1997. The book has since become a bestseller and has sold millions of copies worldwide. The book is based on Kiyosaki's personal experiences with his two fathers, his biological father, Poor Dad, and his best friend's father, Rich Dad. The book provides a guide to financial literacy and teaches readers about the importance of financial education, creating wealth, and achieving financial freedom. In the first chapter of the book, Kiyosaki introduces readers to his two fathers, his biological father, Poor Dad, and his best friend's father, Rich Dad. He explains that both fathers had different mindsets when it came to money, and this influenced his own financial beliefs and behavior. Kiyosaki explains that his poor dad believed in the traditional path of education and getting a job, while his rich dad believed in creating wealth through entrepreneurship and investing. In this chapter, Kiyosaki explains that the rich do not work for money, but instead, they make money work for them. He emphasizes the importance of financial education and understanding how money works. Kiyosaki also stresses that fear and ignorance are the main reasons why people work for money and don't make it work for them. In this chapter, Kiyosaki argues that financial literacy is not taught in schools, and this has led to a lack of financial education among many people. He believes that this is a major problem and that it is important to teach financial literacy to children and adults alike. Kiyosaki explains that financial literacy involves understanding the language of money, knowing how to make money work for you, and understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. In this chapter, Kiyosaki explains that it is important to mind your own business when it comes to finances. He emphasizes the importance of creating assets, such as businesses and investments, that generate income. Kiyosaki also stresses the importance of keeping expenses low and investing in assets that appreciate in value. In this chapter, Kiyosaki provides a brief history of taxes and how they have affected the wealthy and the middle class. He also explains the power of corporations and how they can be used to reduce taxes and create wealth. Kiyosaki believes that understanding the tax system and using corporations effectively can help people achieve financial freedom. In this chapter, Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of creativity and innovation when it comes to creating wealth. He argues that the rich are able to invent money by creating new products and services that solve problems and meet people's needs. Kiyosaki believes that anyone can become wealthy by using their creativity and innovation to create value in the marketplace. In this chapter, Kiyosaki argues that the traditional path of education and getting a job does not lead to financial freedom. He believes that it is important to focus on learning rather than earning in order to become wealthy. Kiyosaki explains that the rich are constantly learning and developing new skills and that this is what allows them to create wealth. In this chapter, Kiyosaki discusses the obstacles that people face when trying to achieve financial freedom. He explains that fear, laziness, cynicism, and arrogance are all obstacles that can prevent people from achieving their financial goals. In conclusion, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a thought-provoking book that offers practical advice and insights on achieving financial independence. By adopting the mindset and strategies of his rich dad, readers can learn to make informed financial decisions and ultimately build wealth and financial freedom.